I thought I would talk about my beautiful, wonderful, super smart and talented mother, Debbie Prater, and my smart and kind and and wealthy and and good father, Nyan Sr. I thought I would read this. This is page six of TopWiki's 500-page business plan slash book slash autobiography. It was the world's most beautiful, talented, and intelligent woman, my mom, who taught me the nuanced differences between a subject and a noun. She passed on to me her endless love of what is known, knowledge, her healthy obsession with logic puzzles, love of visual and linguistic literacy, and a deep mutual fear, respect of the unknown. And then this symbol here, the E with the little plus sign above it to the left with brackets around it, and then a green ring, is approximately equal to a known known, or a noun, subject, person, place, or thing, something that can hold its own over time, or fertilized egg. And the key concept here is something that is distinguishable from its environment. Remember that, distinguishable from its environment. For example, when we say uh, force, at this very second, I weigh 931 newtons. And another, one, another way of saying that the force I place on the surface of the Earth's crust is 931 newtons is... 209 force pounds. So 209 force pounds or 209 pounds of force that I place on the surface of the, uh, surface of the Earth's crust makes me distinguishable in nature. If I die and I decay and I go back to dust, I'm no longer distinguishable from my environment to where I can't be weighed because I'm just part of the environment. So how we get 209 force pounds or 209 pounds, which is a simultane simultaneous way of saying in the metric system that I weigh 931 newtons, is my mass in kilograms, my mass at the moment in kilograms is 95 kilograms. And then we multiply my mass, 95 kilograms, by Earth's gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. So when we multiply the Earth's gravity acting upon me, something distinguishable from the environment, times my mass, we get 931 newtons. And um, yeah, so that makes me distinguishable from my environment. Because some of y'all have been asking me, like, what's the significance of using Newton's second law of motion? Well, that's the significance. So it, it's somewhat philosophical. And then I write, like Oliver, Oliver Ellison, my mother, Debbie Prater, has been a source of inspiration, especially during some of my darkest hours. Over the hundreds, maybe even thousands of hours, I've studied the hydrogen atom from virtually every scientific and philosophical perspective. A few new ways to look at it have emerged in my mind as it relates to life extension. Let's take a trip down memory lane. And my references for this page is I intensely studied what a subject is of a sentence, the thing that you're thinking about and focusing on the most, or the noun of the sentence, the person, place, or thing, the thing that is distinguishable from its environment that can be talked about. Because as soon as it's not distinguishable from its environment, it dies, decays, it goes back to being the environment itself. You know, nothing to something, something to nothing then it can't really be the subject of conversation or anything because you can't even identify or acknowledge that it exists because it's not distinguishable from its environment. So that's the subject or the noun, person, place, or thing. And you can bet there's 200 different expert opinions on that. That's my expert opinion on it. And because I was raised by Nyan Prater and Debbie Prater, my, ex my expert opinion is the best. And then below that, there are known knowns which comes from Donald Rumsfeld's speech. Um, he was the head of the Department of Defense. And then um, there's epidemiology. So I put all this in context of would I teach everything that I'm teaching you or anybody else to Sohi and Suhan? 
100% absolutely you bet. I think it's very important for them to be one out of 100 people that know that force is a measurement. Force can be expressed in newtons or force pounds, pounds. So instead of them stepping on a scale for the rest of their life to the day they die, and they're like, should it be mass, kilograms, or pounds? You know, wh what does this mean? Well, here's the backstory. This is just a tiny, tiny bit of a universal educational product that TopWiki can produce and update every couple of years and then provide for, you know, Sohee and Suhan's children and their children and their children's children so that we can have an idea value hierarchy chain over time. And next video or so, I'll go into what an idea value hierarchy chain is. Um, a lot of people challenged me on that one. They said, can you explain what TopWiki does that Wikipedia and WikiLeaks doesn't do? And through talking to my mom a whole bunch, she even helped me clarify that a lot. And talking to my dad a whole bunch, he's challenged me to, to really be able to explain to somebody in an elevator within 30 seconds why is TopWiki so, so much more valuable than Wikipedia and WikiLeaks, the two most valuable things on planet Earth? And the easy answer to that is Wikipedia accidentally leads to endless learning, to where you never really become smarter, you never really like master concepts inside and out, backwards and forwards, and know the executive summary, because it accidentally leads to endless learning, so it's questionable whether you get smarter over time. And WikiLeaks, it does exactly what top WikiLeaks does, but not for science. So it has no applicable value to a child mastering science at the highest level.